Hello to all students. This is Professor Masood Fuzal, and in this video lecture, we are going to discuss photoperiodism. As you know that plants they do not contain any central nervous system like animals. Their coordination is totally controlled by different hormones present in plants. So the day length and the dark period of the day is controlled by specialized photopigments present in the cells of the plants which are known as phytochromes. So there are three major categories of plants on the basis of photoperiodism. Number one, long day plants. Long day plants usually flower and grow in those days when days are long and nights are short. These plants usually need more than 12 hours of critical photo period for flowering and they need short nights usually day should be from 14 to 16 hours and the night should be 8 to 10 hours if this photo period is available these plants will flower and growth will take place the example of these plants is now wheat radish and sugar beet. How this happens and what is the exact mechanism we will discuss later in this video lecture. The second type of plants on the basis of photoperiodism are short day plants. Short day plants need less than 12 hours of photo period for flowering and growth. Examples of these plants are known as rice tobacco, coffee. These plants need less than 12 hours which is usually 8 to 10 hours of day and more than 12 hours of night or dark period which is from 14 to 16 hours. The third category of the plants is known as day neutral plants. Day neutral plants does not require any photo period. They can flower in any environment in any uh, weather condition. The examples of day neutral plants are tomatoes, cotton and sunflower. The other example you can find in your syllabus. Now what is the exact mechanism? How do plants determine whether it is a day or whether it is a night and how they determine it is summer, winter, autumn or any other season. So to understand the exact mechanism of uh, photoperiodism, first of all, we have to look at the photosensitive pigments present in the cells of the plants, which are known as phytochromes. There are two types of phytochromes which are very important in the phenomena of photoperiodism. The first type of photoperiod uh, phytochrome is known as phytochrome red, which is usually represented by PR. <clears throat> what are the main features of phytochrome red? It is that it is blue-green in color. It means that this pigment absorbs this type of wavelength from the light. It is also in active form because it does not allow or it is, it is not necessary for the flowering and the growth of the plants. It absorbs 680 nanometer range of wavelength of the light from the sun usually between 600 to 700 nanometer of wavelength this pigment is converted into second type of phytochrome which is known as phytochrome far red during the daytime <clears throat> as you can see in this diagram this is the structure of a leaf in the leaf there are cells cells contain phytochromes and phytochrome red absorbs sunlight in the range of 600 to 700 nanometer of wavelength and then is converted into phytochrome far red during the daytime phytochrome red is usually found in the cytosol along the plasma membrane of the cells the second type of phytochrome is known as phytochrome far red 
which is represented as PFR. Phytochrome for red, it is light green in color. It is active form and it absorbs 730 nanometer wavelength of light, usually from 700 to 750 nanometer. And it is converted into phytochrome red during the night or during the dark period. As you can see in this diagram, phytochrome far red is going to is going to be converted into phytochrome red during the night time. These phytochromes far red are present in the discrete in the patch in the form of patches inside the cells along the plasma membrane. Phytochrome far red accumulates in day and then converted into phytochrome red during the night time. This phytochrome PFR is inhibitory effect in short day plants. It means that it inhibits the flowering in short day plants. If it is present in a great amount, flowering will be stopped. And it is stimulatory in long day plants. So we are we will going to discuss uh, this whole process in detail. Now let's move back towards uh, short day and long day plants but before that I am going to explain some important functions of phytochrome far red. Presence of photo, uh, phytochrome far red is very important, very essential for the different processes taking place in the plants. For example, germination of seeds, flowering, senescence, branching and leaf expansion along with the different processes can be stimulated by this phytochrome pigment and uh, the presence of this phytochrome in greater or lesser amount affects different processes in the plants. Now let's move towards the long day plants. How does long day plants know, judge, decides whether it, that it, is, the, it is a long day and short night? As I mentioned earlier that long day plants usually have more than 12 hours of critical photo period and less than 12 hours of dark period. So actually it is the dark period which determines that it is a, it is a summer season long day plants or it is a short day plants. <clears throat> now in this diagram if you look at this diagram I have increased the dark period from 8 to 10 hours to more than 12 hours. What will happen? There will be no flowering. Why there is no flowering? Because in the daytime, phytochrome red converted into phytochrome far red and during the night, phytochrome far red is converted back into phytochrome red. But due to the long night, maximum amount of phytochrome FP, uh, PFR is converted back into PR. So that is why flowering cannot be done. So there is, should be uh, some amount of phytochrome far red at the end of the night that will induce the flowering in long day plants. Now look at the next diagram. I have what I have done. This is the day period. This is the dark period and I have interrupted the light period with a short flash of light. But this does not affect the flowering in long day plants and flowering will take place. So what are the main uh, salient features of long day plants? Number one, these plants, long day plants only flower when photo period, the daytime is more than critical photo period. So that I mentioned already earlier that the day should be more than more than 12 hours or more than a critical length so that uh, these plants can flower. The second point is that flowering occurs if long dark is interrupted by flash of light. If you interrupt the long night of the plants, long day plants, still flowering will take place. So interruption of, with the help of light does not affect the uh, inhibition of the flowering. The third and the most important uh, feature of long day plant is that Long day plants need high level of phytochrome far red to flower. So that I already mentioned that if the day is long enough that enough amount of PFR is accumulated and the nights are shorter that at the end of the night there is a great amount of PFR still present in the cells. This will allow the flowering in long day plants. Now look at the short day plants. <coughs> Excuse me. 
फ्लावरिंग शॉर्ट प्लांट्स यूजली हैव लेस दैन ट्वेल्व आवर्स और लेस दैन लेस अमाउंट ऑफ क्रिटिकल पीरियड विच इज़ यूजली एट टू टेन आवर्स फॉर फ्लावरिंग बट इन द नेक्स्ट डायग्राम इफ़ यू लुक एट दिस डायग्राम दिस इज़ ए डे पीरियड एंड दिस इज़ द डार्क पीरियड एंड आई हैव इंटरप्टेड दिस डार्क पीरियड विद अ फ्लैश ऑफ लाइट एंड यू कैन सी दैट देर इज़ नो फ्लावरिंग बिकॉज शॉर्ट डे प्लांट्स नीड्स वेरी फ्यू और नो अमाउंट ऑफ फाइटोक्रोम फॉर रेड फॉर फ्लावरिंग बट इट इट आल्सो बिन सीन दैट इफ द इफ द नाइट इज इंटरप्टेड एट द एंड ऑफ द नाइट और इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द नाइट स्टिल फ्लावरिंग कैन टेक्स प्लेस सो वट आर द मेन फीचर्स ऑफ शॉर्ट डे प्लांट्स नंबर वन दीज प्लांट्स शॉर्ट डे प्लांट्स फ्लावर्स वैन फोटो पीरियड डे टाइम इज लेस दैन क्रिटिकल लेंथ एज आर ऑलरेडी मैंशन ओवर हेयर लेस दैन ट्वेल्व आवर नंबर टू फ्लावरिंग इज इनहिबिटेड फ्लावरिंग विल स्टॉप If long dark period is interrupted by flash of light, look at this diagram. I have interrupted the dark period with a light, and flowering has been stopped. Why? Because in the daytime, phytochrome red is converted into PFR, phytochrome far red. So phytochrome far red is converted back into PR during the night time, and lights are very lengthy. so at the end of night there will be no phytochrome for red in the cells or very little amount of pfr because nights are very long and the conversion has been taking place so the plants will decide that it is a short day and long night and it will flower but if you interrupt this dark period with a flash of light then again this phytochrome red will be converted into pfr and there will be more pfr at the end of the night so flowering will be inhibited because short day plants needs low levels of pfr they need low level a uh, minimum amount of phytochrome far red to flower at the end of the night so in this way all the plants decides judge determine whether it is a long day which is summer day or it is a short day which is a winter day for flowering for growth for all the processes taking place in the plants so that's all for today i hope it makes sense and i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye